So I can confirm that the Department of Defense was tracking a high altitude object over Alaska airspace in the last 24 hours. Okay, um, here are the details. The object was shot down at approximately 3.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The object was shot down in uh, over central Yukon and uh, at about 40,000 feet. In terms of the description of the object, we believe that the object is cylindrical in shape. Out, uh, the, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Yesterday, NORAD confirmed uh, that an unidentified object uh, entered unlawfully Canadian airspace. Uh, it represented a reasonable threat to civilian aircraft, uh, so I gave the order to take it down. Uh, Canadian and American fighter jets were scrambled, uh, and an American F-22 successfully shot down the object. Uh, recovery teams are on the ground um, looking to uh, find and analyze the object. In 1974, I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. He said to me, Carol, you will stop the weaponization of space. And we have to prevent the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. There are many enemies, he said, against whom we're going to build this space-based weapon system, the first of whom was the Russians. And finally, earlier today, the Russian Federation recklessly conducted a destructive satellite test of a direct ascent anti-satellite missile against one of its own satellites. The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of tra trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbital, orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The United States will work with our allies and partners to respond to Russia's irresponsible act. And now we hear on the news just today, this week, that they've slid in another enemy. Only this time we're going to protect our satellites. Uh, what the Russians did today with these 1,500 pieces of track trackable orbital debris uh, poses a risk not only to those astronauts, not only to those cosmonauts, uh, but to satellites to the interests of all nations. All right. Space is a warfighting domain. We may even have a space force. We'll develop another one. Space force. We have the Air Force, we'll have the Space Force. Then there would be asteroids. A planet killer asteroid has been spotted in Earth's vicinity. The biggest in years. I'm serious about this. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Categorized as planet killers. It's what we call a global killer. And then he would repeat to me over and over. And the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. In other words, we have to have some reason to spend these trillions to waste these dollars on a space-based weapon system, and they're all lies.